All right, who wants to do the intro and explain who we are and what we're doing? What's up, everybody? What's going on? Welcome to the inaugural podcast of the Retro Chambers with Chris Mabes here and Jim Farley. We're here to talk about anything that you guys want to talk about on gaming the world. So um, we hope you all enjoy the broadcast on here. Well, everybody's on here tonight. Um, we will try to cover as much as we can to y'all. Are there comments on here? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Chris, do you have any other comments? Um, no, like I said, we're going to try to, like Jason had said, we're going to try to cover um, as much as we can. Uh, this is the inaugural one. It's probably not going to be a real, real long one. Um, but we hope that uh, what we cover here uh, will be enjoyable. Uh, if there's any other content that other people may want to see, feel free to kind of contribute. Let us know um, what you want to see on here or different things that you would want to see, and we'll try to incorporate it into um, – some of the ideas that we've already come up with. Yeah. Yeah. This is a premiere, so everybody as they're gaming, we'd like to talk about retro, anything current, anything through the Xbox, the Steam, or whatever, whatnot platforms or the old school game system. So we'll see how it goes from here on out and see what, what you think of us on here. Yeah. We kind of had some ideas to begin with, and I think some of the ideas, you know, w that we'll get into as we go along. One of them was our um, top ten Nintendo games, top ten fa favorite Nintendo games. Um, I think what all of us are going to do is just kind of go through a little top ten list and kind of um, explain to people why we in particular chose those top 10 games and you know opinions will vary on top 10s as they always do um and uh does anybody want to go first or do you guys want me to go first or? you go ahead chris yeah okay um at number 10 i have teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 the arcade game the only reason i, I picked this on this uh, list and i put it that low is because it is a beat -em up I remember the hype, though, for this game was uh, very, very, very big. And um, it set the stage for, um, of course, number three in Turtles in Time. And it was a lot different than the first one, which a lot of people have bad memories playing, I would, I would say. Um, my yeah. number nine is Ghosts and Goblins. Very difficult game. But it does have a nostalgia factor with it. It's probably one of the hardest games ever, but um, I find myself going back to it again and again every so often, trying to play it. Um, I've been through the whole thing one time, at least, and uh, I've beaten it, but um, uh, it takes a lot to, to go through it. My number eight game is Punch-Out. Um, I'm going to go with Punch-Out the not the mike tyson one but the other one i'm not a real big mike tyson fan um both games are pretty similar both pretty good memorizing patterns of the fighters uh, the different fighters one doesn't have mike definitely tyson. one doesn't have mike tyson the other has mr dream on it yes yes jason that's that's correct thank you for thank you for putting that in there <laughs> one has mr dream and the other has mike tyson they I think they fight similar and the sprites look similar, except for uh, Tyson with the gap in his teeth as well. Um, my number seven is Ninja Gaiden 2. Now, a lot of people wonder maybe why not Ninja Gaiden 1 or, two, or 3. Um, number two just seemed to me to have a better storyline plus the environmental stages, so that's kind of why I picked it over the other two. Um, ninjas were very um, were, were the thing back in the day, and uh, that's kind of why you know it, it draws me back. Number six one, and I know Jim will have this one on his list somewhere. It'll have to be Double Dragon Two. 
Double Dragon 2 did a lot of different things in Double Dragon 1. One of the main things was the co-op on it. It was the first time that you could do co-op on them. And um, it felt it, it felt more fluid on the game control, and you could um, enter kick in different directions. Number five is Castlevania three again. Not saying too much bad about number one or two, but number three gave you the ability to play as other characters and to go other routes throughout the game. So it was not a linear style of playing. Number four is Final Fantasy One. I. I had to put one of the Final Fantasies on here because as a person that plays a lot of role-playing games, this was one of the first ones I played and beat. Um, and uh, it's so uh, to me, it's a really good game. Right. Number three is Mega Man 3. Um, the first one I played was actually Mega Man 2, but I like Mega Man 3 because it has my personal favorite robot master, which is Gemini Man. And also, it has um, Rush the Dog for the first time on there. And um, I liked um, seeing a dog instead of maybe like items. I mean, the items were good on number two, but I liked the dog idea better. Um, my top two, the second, number two is The Legend of Zelda 1. Um, Legend of Zelda 1, I still will play to this day to me is a masterpiece of a game great game um there ain't much else to say about it if you played it before you know and my top my top favorite game on the nes is super mario brothers 3 mm -hmm. um there's a lot of people that i'm sure they put that at the top of their list i remember the game receiving massive hype and when it came out it did not disappoint uh, didn't disappoint anybody. You had eight different worlds like you did on the other games. Um, but on the eight worlds, there were Koopa kids. The game is just well done. The worlds are well done. They're challenging enough, but they're, but, but, but they're still, you're still able to get through the stages. Even so it's not so hard, but it's not, it's not very, very easy either. So that would be my top ten, and um, I think that's all I was going to say, and then whoever wants to go next. How about you, Jim? Um, mine, would be, mine would probably be about the same as his, except for uh, Mario 3. Uh, instead of Mario 3 was Mario 2, but that was only because of uh, nostalgia. Nostalgia because that was one of the first Mario games I played. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, he pretty much covered the ones that I would probably pick for the Nintendo as well in the right spots and stuff. Uh, I, I can. Uh, I know this was a hard topic for for us because um, different. Uh, different decades and different genres represent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think, uh, I think what Chris said, I think what his picks was uh, similar to what I had. Um, like I said, other than Mario 3, uh, I would probably put Mario 2 on there. Mm -hmm. uh, what all is your uh, do you have a, do you have your uh, 10 I got, it on here. I got it here on my phone so I can get it all together okay if anybody needs help like modding stuff or getting game stuff let me know on the group here. I do get everybody at least what I can out of a best quality I can. I'm going to make tutorial videos for people on here. If anybody wants to learn how the process is done, just if anybody wants to know about us, just ask Chris, myself, or um, Jimmy over there. We are about everything we can do about gamers and stuff. 
Yeah, definitely. We'll help out the best. We'll do what we can. Um, so, Chris here does flashbacks for our uh, for our group on Fridays. And Chris, you can talk about that real quick. I do a thing called Flashback Fridays. Um, it, if somebody's not familiar with it, um, I try to pick a either a well-known or semi-well-known um, Nintendo game. Um, as it goes on up, I'll probably pick up uh, Super Nintendo and maybe even some different, um, maybe even some different systems like Sega's and things like that. And uh, I stream a little bit of it. Um, or all of it, if I feel that I can get through the, the entire game. Um, I will be doing Top Gun 1 tomorrow, uh, so you guys might want to catch that. If you've, never, if you've never learned how to land the plane or refuel it correctly, uh, it took me quite a few years to figure out how to do it, um, but I will, uh, I will give people some tips and tricks on that as well. So while we like covering NES stuff, I'm going to do something similar, Chris. I haven't figured out how much one I'm going to cover yet. We appreciate what you do for us in there. By the way, I am also doing another thing where um, every now and then, uh, I'm sure some of them have seen where I have been covering, starting with the alphabet, starting with the letter A, going through Nintendo games. The ones I'm not covering are... Um, ones that might not have made it to the states or the developer or publishers unknown and uh i don't really i don't really do some of those because um some of them are unplayable some of them are very unplayable so Kirby's would be my number. Kirby's Adventures, I like the style, the play of the game was. Back in when, I love Kirby games. That would be number 10 for me. Of course, I put Castlevania, Castlevania games at number 9 in there. The Turtle games at 8. I like DuckTales games. I love Disney games. Mm -hmm. 6 would probably be Ninja Gaiden. And five would probably be right up there with Metroid. Three would probably be, like you said, Mega Man 3 and Zelda and 2 and Mario 3 at number one. Those would be my top. That would be my top ten right there. Like I said, it's it's hard to make a top it's ten It's hard to make a really top. good decision, but, I mean, it, it caught it real close to all these games. Yeah. I will have more of a problem making a Super Nintendo top 10 list than I did of this one. It'd probably be like the Super NES Classic Minis because the top 10 they picked are mm -hmm. very close to what they like the Mini is, like the NES is. And the NES, you have to play all these games at random. Like I have complete libraries of all the ROMs and all the NES libraries on my Minis, including Famicom Japan release games that are hard to play which took a while to mod because I learned how to do it from different people. So I was using different systems and like the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color. I don't know how I could do it in the Game Boy <laughs> top 10. I'd have to really look at it and see which ones. There's so many of them like we're trying to figure out on here. That's another thing. Like I was telling Jim earlier, I'm going to uh -huh. try to go back to games that I had played before previously and also games that I never got a chance to play and I'm probably going to use save states to get through them but uh, if anybody wants to see a playthrough of a certain game um, I know I owe Jason already a uh, Mega Man 7 and Mega Man 8 I'll have to get to at some point um, I try to practice a little bit before I before I do them to get uh, reacclimated with the game Mm -hmm. So there, there is that. <laughs> I like to get started on the other Mega Man's as well, like the X series for Super Nintendo. That's my great challenge. Oh yeah, I beat X one yeah. and X two, but I'm sure they like to see that. I beat the others on the PlayStation era. 
Yeah, I like to see the I like to see the Mega Man X X ones as well. I'm like gonna to try to do those at some point, but I don't know when because um, I beat the ones on uh, on the anniversary collection. Mm -hmm. But there was a lot of them I had a lot of rage going into because uh, they were so difficult. They were, you know, challenging once you get, you know, on up through there. And, uh, you know, it's it's just one of those things that everybody's I'm just like, a, well. I'm just a big sucker on comes to playing different hacks of different games. I like people's versions of different games, like all the Mega Man games, the Mario games and all that. I can understand that. Yeah. That's why I, like, that's what I love about going to the site called romhack.net. <laughs> they got a bunch, bunch of hacks on there. Oh, nice. Especially different versions of Mario 3. <laughs> Chris, you might like that. That might challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> I, played, um, I played some hacks. There's one I had on the emulator that I have for Legend of Zelda a link to the past for the Super Nintendo and it's um it's pretty similar to the original game itself mm -hmm. it's not a duplicate but it's it's pretty similar oh yeah and, uh, I'd always told them you know hey I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to play this mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, Type design games like Mario Maker, Mega Man Maker. Those games are always always fun to build your own levels. Yeah, definitely. And if anybody is listening, please do not make me stream LJN games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Chris. Those are those are very rage inducing for me. And uh, like I said, I tried out Beetlejuice the other day, and. Um, mm -hmm. Man, you know, right. just I've never beaten Beetlejuice. I like to get into some Batman games. <laughs> I like the first Batman. Yeah, on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fairly entertaining and fairly interesting. And actually, I got farther than I'd ever got on it on a uh, on a Friday night flashback, but using save states a little bit. And, mm hmm. And so I was sitting there, and I was like, hey, I was like, I, I actually like this now. I was like, <laughs> then when I played it as a kid, because I didn't care for it, because uh, I could get, I could maybe get through the first stage, but um, definitely, that's something to me that enhances gameplay, is if you can see past the first stage, or the first couple of stages, if you can see past a certain stage, that's what you know that's what that's what a great game will allow you to do mm -hmm. allow you to see more of the game and draw you in mm -hmm. instead of we just ramp up the difficulty right off the bat and smack you right in the mouth mm -hmm. which you know nobody wants to be you know nobody wants to do that i like to work on mega man base for the game boy advance <laughs> yeah yeah, I mean, that those um, ROMs and Mega Man ROMs are pretty good too. They oh, like the so many ROMs. I got like thousands and thousands of ROMs on my flash drives. Yeah, in that dolphin emulator as well. I mean, I showed you yesterday, Jimmy, how that dolphin works. That dolphin's pretty smooth on an Android phone. That's if you have a higher end phone. Yeah. You can play Luigi's Mansion on there, Chris. You can do. <laughs> I played Luigi's Mansion when it first came out. When the when the GameCube first came out, I I didn't make it all the way through it. I made it up to the third big boss, and mm -hmm. which is the big boo. Big boo. <laughs> yeah, it's the yeah. one that you have to fight on, on the roof. <laughs> He's kind of uh, yeah, difficult to fight. Well, you fight you fight that one on the roof, and then you fight the you fight another one downstairs, I think it is. You can emulate. Let's see. 
Wii, Wii U, already done PlayStation. <laughs> yeah. Get Xbox, you. Xbox. I don't know about Xbox. I think you can. Original Xbox. Yeah. PlayStation 2, you can. Yeah, definitely. There's an app for that on the. I think you got to pay a little fee for it. They just, I just done 3DS about a week or two ago. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, uh, kind of summarize what you've been uh, doing on your on your stream after Jason's done, and, and let's uh, let the audience know, um, you know, what what you've been, you know, what your goals are, and um, what you've been doing on there, and you know, stuff like that. Um, pretty much, um, they've started uh, taking to where the art on the YouTube channel, they've started kind of taking to where, um, where I've already done games and they're, you know, the only way to really to pull them up because you can't see them on there now is to type in what you want, like if you you want to see the Mega Man 2 when you're going to have to type in um, you're going to have to type in the Amused Gamers uh, Space Gamers and then you're going to have to type in like Mega Man 2 or something of that something to that effect um, because some of the videos it's um, I've made a bunch of them so they've kind of um, they've kind of reset back to back to the beginning mm -hmm. and um but uh done quite a few different games um on quite a few different systems um as the guys had already said i do the uh i do the retro games um more often than not i do the thing on uh friday night where i take a game or maybe more than one game depending upon what game it is and uh, we talk about it and we work on it um like I said, coming up, I'm going to be trying to finish Final Fantasy 2. Uh, hope to get that stream done. Takes me a little while on some of those. Um, like I said, I owe Jason a Mega Man 7, a Mega Man 8 stream. I kind of owe Jim a Blaster Master one if I can get through it. I love Blaster. I'll be using some save states on some of these because some of them. Blaster Master. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. I get to the I end, but I, I don't do real good once I get there. <laughs> Blaster Master on the Switch is pretty fun, too. Zero. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Uh, I ain't trying to. <laughs> yeah. They got two of them on Game Boy. Game Boy Color and Game Boy Black and White. I think they even had one on the Genesis that was a uh, Master it's Blaster. Supposed to be two. It was supposed to be part mm -hmm. two. <laughs> I played a little bit of it. It's it's kind of like the original, but it's not. It's not exactly like the. Um, it's not exactly like the original, so it's kind of got one of those where, it, maybe, like maybe at some point, but mm, not, not something I want to do right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And guys, I'll let you know right off the bat while we were um, talking and while we were doing that, I finally beat Super Ghouls and Ghosts with Safe States. And I finally beat the stupid game after. I've never beaten that game. Yes, I've never beaten that game, Chris. I would say it's hard. I had to use Safe States to beat it because you have to, you almost have to have the gold armor and get the dagger. The dagger is probably the best weapon, the dagger or the crossbow. Um, once you get the gold armor, it uh, it allows you to charge it up to use a magic attack, and it attacks differently because it turns the dagger into a laser. I know that one for sure. And then what you need to do is you'd have to you have to go through the game the first seven stages. Once you beat the seventh stage, you have to go back. You have to have you have to have the shield and the gold armor the fifth treasure chest that you open will have it should have the uh the fairy in it that gives you the goddess bracelet 
-hmm. and then you have to beat the boss with the goddess bracelet. The goddess bracelet has no upgrades. It fires straight. The two good things about the goddess bracelet, this is another thing that, that, that I will be doing people as I go up in depth on some stuff. If I think that you guys need to know something, this goddess bracelet can shoot through two lower, uh, lower grade enemies. And it can also knock projectiles back. The only bad thing is it's a little bit slow, and to kill the boss toward the end, you have to double jump. You have to double jump every time it's a shoot aim because you can't reach his head otherwise. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's a little bit of a pain. Also, another thing that um, I don't think I've told Jason, I know I've told Jim. Uh -huh. um, I know there's sometimes, and I'll be doing this whenever I do a Mega Man X game, if there's something that I think that you guys will not see, and, and you'll see me do this on Top Gun tomorrow night, if there's something on the controller that I think that you need to see me do with my hand movements, I will put it there because I have had problems before where I have went through walkthroughs or like video walkthroughs and somebody says, oh, jump here or jump there. They don't explain to you how to do it. And if you don't know how to do it, you just have to either luck up on it or try to figure out how to do it. I was on Mega Man X, one of them, for, for a terribly long time trying to figure out how to do something one day because the guy did not explain exactly how to do it. <laughs> so if anybody has any problems with anything like that I'm doing on one of these and, and you're confused about the controller, let me know. I will, I will gladly, I will gladly do that for you and clear that up. I remember when I first got that controller when I first bought my Super Nintendo back in 91 when I was 11, and I mastered it pretty quick. Nice. Oh, yeah. It didn't take long to master it. No. That Super Nintendo was $200. I bought it at Toys R Us for one of the stores. I think that was um, – I think that was a price a lot of places for them at that time. I had mine about, you said you got yours and you was about 11. I would have probably got mine when I was about nine. And I remember the two games I bought with it were super, well, you got mm -hmm. Super Mario World bundled in, of course. Oh, yeah, that's why I got mine. And then I ended up with Final Fight 1. <laughs> I say so, um, action set with Mario Bros. and Duck. That was mine. Yeah, I and just done um, Super Mario World not too long ago. A run, um, a run through it. Not too long ago. I mean, I, like to the lost, I would love to beat the lost level in a Mario. Yeah, that'd be a good one. That's I tried one. to go back and do the lost levels. I had beat it once before, and I tried to go back and do it, and uh, I guess I've just lost the ability to get it done. Because <laughs> I, uh, I have a terrible time with it now. It's not a bad game. Metroid takes so long to beat. Metroid takes so long to beat if you memorize everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. And that's another thing I wanted to clarify with some of the people that, that may be watching. I don't hate Metroid. It's not like an awful game. It's just something I didn't um, I didn't get into as much as other people growing up because I wasn't into making, making maps of, of games because I can't draw to save my life. So making a map um, was not going to work. And that's what I would have had to do. Super Metroid, Jim and Chris. I mean, that took me to. Yeah. The whole I like week. it a little bit better because it does have a map on it. And I can kind of see where I've been and where I haven't been. Look at Ninja Turtles, the first NES game. Woo. Damn. I'm still going to beat that at some point. 
I don't want to admit, but I use Game Genie on some of it. <laughs> you don't want to admit it? Yeah. Well, it, it, it gets really bad toward the end of the game where you get towards, like, the Technodrome and in the Technodrome. Yeah. It, gets, it gets brutal. Technodrome really gets me. <laughs> like I said, I'll beat Ghosts and Goblins if people ask me, but I like I am definitely going to use save states because I am not. I I think the night that I, that I went through it, the the required two times to beat it, I think I really had a good run and I got lucky. That's all I can think of. Tell our viewer, tell our viewers what your YouTube channel is, Chris. On here, they want to YouTube know. channel. Sometimes. Jim will stream to it as well, but our YouTube channel is under the Amused Gamers, and then you have to put a space and then Gamers again. Um, like I said, if you want something like, uh, if you want to see Dead Island, we've got a, I've got a walkthrough up there for Dead Island. If you want to see Dead Island one, um, you'll just type in the Amused Gamers. That's all together. Uh, that's T H E A A M U S E D G A M E R S space J G A M E R S, which is gamers. And then you would just space over and you'll type in um, Dead Island or you'll type in Dead Island Riptide, something to that effect. And it should, it'll pull up a lot of different stuff, but you should be able to find ours within there. So I'm Trackman80 on Xbox, YouTube. I'm getting ready to do a Twitch account. I need to start doing that more better. I don't do Twitch that much. <laughs> I know Jim probably can help with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the Mega Man X series would be pretty good too, Jason. If you was, are you uh, are you yeah, thinking? I need I need to start on in a couple of days. Oh, nice. I'm trying to look at the Super Nintendo Classic to see if there's any games I have not streamed that I would want to stream. Um, I was thinking of at some point in the near future doing... Castlevanias and Ninja Gaidens with save states, both. That would be good. What about Kirby? And um, all the way up to, well, on Contra, uh, do Contra, Super C, and number three, the Alien Wars, and then maybe on the Castlevania, do uh, one, two, three, and four. I think those are the most well known ones that people would um, gravitate towards. Um, are you going to do Gohan's Adventure or whatever it's called? I think it's Gohan, you said. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gohan's Adventure. Yeah. I can't do Gohan's Great Adventure and I can't do Mystical Ninja 64, but I can do, um, on the Super Nintendo, I can do The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Um... I will probably do that at some point. I don't know how many people actually know about that game. Jason, do you know anything about that game? What is it? The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. I've heard of it. I'd have to look it up in my... It's a Konami game that was created, and I was lucky enough to find it and play it whenever I was younger. I liked the game really good. I like it still to this day. Um... There's a couple different games of the it's series. Like Adventure Island, I was thinking of Adventure Island. Mm, yeah. Nah. Contra would Jason, be a fun. Game too. What Double do you drag. think about Punch or, Out? Or Super Punch Out? I was thinking Double Dragon. <laughs> yeah, Double Dragon be good. Or you can get through number one and three. I'll do number two for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing number three though. Oh no. <laughs> that one's pretty rough. I got so many Nintendo powers I'd have to look through that Ninfugal Ninja. 
I had quite a few Nintendo powers growing up as a kid, and, and they're still over at mom and dad's house in a box. My pages are tearing up and everything. I had a flood a couple of years ago. My pages got ruined, so I have to probably reorder a bunch of new ones. Or <laughs> just because I didn't take care of it, pretty much. Yeah. Charlie. Negligence on my part. Mm hmm. We'll chop that up. To, okay, I was going to try that. I'm not going to try that right now. Yes. And I'd like to do punch out, but I'm not good enough at it. I'm really not good enough at it. <laughs> How about the first Zelda? Let's do the first Zelda. That would be you. That's a top name. Yeah. Um, I did the first Zelda. It's about how many parts did it end up being, Jim? Was it like fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. It's a lot. It was both quests. It was both the first and the second quest. That's already on there, and I about pulled my hair out. Yep. I never beat beaten Adventure Link. That game takes forever to beat. Yeah, um, the one on the Game Boy. Link's Awakening. Was that the one you were talking about, or are you talking about Zelda 2? Zelda 2. Oh, uh, yeah, Zelda 2. Um, I'd like to be able to do it. I can't do it though. <laughs> well, <laughs> I I do good until I I come upon those uh, uh, knights very, that uh, uh, walk uh, almost everything. <laughs> oh gosh! Yeah, they're a little bit bad. <laughs> <laughs> Save before I get there. <laughs> yeah. Save before you get there. And say, say right before you start fighting one. That way, you know, if you get a lucky hit in here, or there, you know, and then you, and then you be all right. A lot of games. That's what it is. Is just, and that's the thing. Is just memorization. Yeah. A lot of games, and I, and like I wanted to, I wanted to share with you guys and see what you guys thought about maybe a little bit of this is uh, Pet Peeves on Games. Yeah. Yeah. One of mine I just ran into whenever I beat Ghost, uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts just a couple minutes ago. Um, the game will not let you go back to the title screen. That's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Oh, yeah. You beat a game and it will not let you go back. Yeah. I want to do Star Tropics, but that takes a while. I've thought about doing Star Tropics, and I can make it through the first one or two areas, and then after that, it's uh, it's a little bit bad for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll try it at some point, and I'll see if I can't get that up there for you, or maybe at least some of it. <laughs> you want to do any Sega games like Sonic or anything? <laughs> probably, I'll probably do a Sonic at some point on one of the Friday Night Flashbacks because it is such a um, such a well known franchise. <laughs> yeah, it's a good flat. It's a good. It's a good series, though. Yeah. We well, you know, as as Nintendo, as a Nintendo person growing up, I got you know an Italian plumber, you know, and they got a little blue hedgehog, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. But I like some people still had friends that had a Sega Genesis, so um, I was exposed to quite a few Sega games growing up as well. How about Ventures of Lolo? <laughs> Lolo. <laughs> yeah, there you I go. Did the first one. I haven't done the other two yet. I did the first one. The other two are on my list to do. Okay. Nice. Um, I don't know when they'll be because I have to carve out some time for that one because those usually take me a little while because I do good within the first few areas and then after that, it's kind of... <laughs> it Spotty. takes a little bit for me to figure it out. What's your favorite Disney game? I like Chippendale, DuckTales... 
My favorite Disney would either have to be Chippendale or DuckTales 1. I don't yeah. really know which one because I like them. I like them both. Uh-huh. And they both... Um, I like them both. <laughs> yeah. They both have their different things in them. Like, uh, there's a couple of things about DuckTales I don't like, but then there's there's also a couple of things about Rescue Rangers I don't like. <laughs> Did you do one on Battletoads not long ago? Um, I've done, let's see. I've done Battletoads Arcade. I played through just very little of Battletoads and Battle Maniacs and very little of Battletoads and Double Dragon. And mm-hmm. I played through what I could of Battletoads 1. I'm not ashamed to say I cannot, I can still not beat the game. Yeah. <laughs> you can't beat the game, still. No. Looking down my list here. A boy and his blob. I did. I tried to beat that, and I was real close to beating it. And I didn't beat it on stream. Mm-hmm. Um, I might go back to that at some point and actually beat it. It's interesting to watch. Mm hmm. Well, it's it's an interesting game, and if you if you know where you're going, it's one of those games also that if you know where you're going, um, the game gets very interesting. But you have to, you really have to know where you're going. You should do an X Men the X Men series. Yeah. The only one that's worth anything is the arcade one. <laughs> Almost. Looting tunes. I'm gonna try Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. <laughs> That's not too bad. It's just it's a lot of stages, but it's not awful. I think yeah. there's unlimited that continues too. Let's see here. There's two Chippendales. Contra. I want to look at Contra. Contra. I can't beat unless I got the code going. Yeah. I have to use the code. Yeah. Yeah. I can get through. I can get through about the first four stages or so without the code, but uh, after that, it's just uh, I have to use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You like Dragon Warrior? <laughs> um, sometimes. <laughs> That'll take you a good bit. Well, the thing with me is, you know, like I and like I've said before, you know, I like the Final Fantasy series, and you know, Dragon Warrior's not bad. It's really not. It's it's actually it's a really good game. Um, it uses that first person perspective whenever you go to fight some uh, to fight an enemy, and it's got different enemies and stuff than some of the other RPGs and things like that. <laughs> It is a good game, though. Oh, yes. It's, it's still good. Even if I don't play it that much, it's still good. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Okay, that's still broadcasting. Let's go back to my list here. So are you going to still do the Minecraft series, Jason? Thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Goonies, too? Yeah, I, think... <laughs> I love the Goonies. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a very weird game for me growing up. <laughs> still a weird game growing up. Well, yeah, I will say that. Who made that game, by the way? Now, what is who made that? Goonies. Was it Konami? Konami. Konami. It says Konami. That's lucky to remember that. You should um, do the uh, Earthworm Jim games, Chris. That's on <laughs> Super. That's on Super. If I don't rage quit, I'll do them. <laughs> that's, a, that's another scary series for me. <laughs> Oh, it's 
Uh, both games are equally as, as, as hard. It's not that the controls are bad. It's just the things on the game itself are just a little bit difficult to do, especially when you're guiding that little spaceship around and, and every little hit puts a crack in it. Right. I like this one, Joe and Mac. Me and Danielle were trying to play that a few times, and we can get we can get marginally far. I can get pretty far in there. I think the one I want to try is Little Samson. I definitely want to play through Little Samson at some point, <laughs> and I do have it to play through it. And like I said, I I would like to at some point this because is I played through the first couple of stages, and I really like it. This is one that's really expensive out there. It's called Earthbound Mother. I never played that all the way through. I tried to play Earthbound a couple of weeks ago and use a walkthrough and tried to get really into the game, and it's just it's, it's really like, difficult for me to get into. It's a lot like crystals. Yeah. Yeah. It's I don't know what it is about it. It's just like I said, it's just really difficult for me to get into and uh, people like and to work kidding. On. Yeah. Oh gosh! <laughs> play that game again. Icarus is a challenging game, Jim. Woo. I mean, yeah, I, I, I heard about Kid Icarus. Yeah. Woo. Tough game. Tough game. Oh yeah. Surprise it ain't on our top ten. <laughs> so Jason. Yeah. When you gonna beat um when you gonna beat Friday the thirteenth? <laughs> Soon. <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> That'd be a perfect time. Yeah. We're doing it on Halloween. Game for Halloween. <laughs> yeah. I want guys for my Halloween stream or around Halloween stream. I plan on doing do, some uh, um, nightmare on. You can do nightmare on Elm Street. Um, <laughs> I've got Splatter House in mind. Oh, that's a good one. Splatter yeah. House. I did. I did some uh, nightmare on Elm Street on a Friday night. Uh, Friday night flashback, and I almost beat it. Oh, nice. Nice. Metal Gear. Yeah. I like Spider House though. Spider House looks like fun. Yeah. It's it's fun because it's kind of like a beat 'em up mixed in with an action adventure game to where you can just you can just nail the enemies with like a two by four and they just slam up against the wall. Yeah. Zombie eat my shorts or is that a zombie? I don't know if that, is that a game? Yeah. I like the zombies ate my neighbors. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> nice little co-op game that not a whole lot of people really know about that has a cult following. <clears throat> what else we got right. here, guys? Hey, All right. boys. Well, guys, I'm about hit, getting ready to hit the hay, but uh, we're going. I guess we'll go ahead and wrap things up, and I'll post this up. And like yeah. I said, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah. We'll see y'all next broadcast. We'll probably yeah. leave, hopefully next or We'd like Goonies on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We'll try, Next yeah, on Thursday. See what we can cover and get our notes together. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But it was nice uh, doing this, and we was just testing it out this one time and see how it goes. And uh, I'll get this up on um, YouTube and Facebook and everywhere I can get it. And, uh, okay. Sounds good. It should, should be pretty good. See what kind of reaction we get. Yeah. But 
uh, so so long, guys, and I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. We did, and you have.